In the diagram below of right triangle KMI, altitude IG is drawn to hypotenuse KM. If KG is equal to 9 and IG is equal to 12, the length of IM is... So this is another uh, geometric mean problem. So this kind of problem turns up all the time in the geometry regions. And what you need to understand is, in a right triangle, if we draw an altitude from the right angle to the hypotenuse, the altitude is going to partition the hypotenuse into two segments, A and B, which I don't know what proportion the, um, the altitude partitions the hypotenuse in. It could be equal. It doesn't have to be equal. Um, but what I do know is the product of these partitions will equal to the altitude squared. And if you uh, are questioning the validity of this, I encourage you to go and try and prove this for yourself because this is a simple proof that you can write up and show that, um, that we have three similar right triangles here and this proportion holds true, okay? Or this equation here holds true. Let's see how we can apply this concept for this problem here. So if kg is equal to nine, and IG is equal to 12, and you're asked to find out what IM is, that's this guy right here, so which I'm going to call X. Um, how are we going to do that? Well, it looks like uh, we can first figure out what this GM is. I'm going to call that Y, okay? We can first figure out what Y is, and then after we figure out what Y is, then we can figure out what X is. So they actually, this is a two-part problem. So we can say 9 times y is equal to 12 squared. And uh, looking at this, we have y is equal to 144 over 9. And what is that? That is equivalent to uh, 16, right? I don't know why that took so long. So anyway, so y is equal to 16. And uh, since we're dealing with a right triangle there, we can say 12 and 16 f uh, form the legs of the right triangle, uh, which we're trying to solve for x there. So I can say, um, I can apply Pythagorean theorem. However, this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, but if you don't recognize that, you know, you can certainly use a Pythagorean theorem. The... Um, the fifth, uh, the third side there uh, will come out to 20, I believe, right? So, but anyway, if you didn't recognize that, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared plus 16 squared is equal to x squared. So this will be 144. This will be 256. And if you add them together, you're going to get 400. And if we take the square root of both sides, we end up with x is equal to 20. So looking at this, x is um, my im. So therefore, that would be option 3.